Hey there, everyone. I'm around the wheel, and today on Moby Limbs, we are wrapping up Flapdoodle. There's only two levels left, and we are on 29. Where is it? We're not on Heinous yet. No way. We are only on Flapdoodle. We have not even earned our Flapdoodle belt yet. But we're about to today. We are about to undergo the Flapdoodle ceremony to earn the Flapdoodle belt. Starting with Portrait of a Lemming, the penultimate test of Flapdoodle levels. This is the first level all over again. Let's see. Ten lemmings got to save 90%. And we have five minutes to do it. Let us paint a portrait of a lemming that results in the required amount. What have we got? We got two climbers. So we're going to be going over some walls. A blocker. Okay, let's see. A blocker. And then... Okay, a blocker, a bomber. And a digger. Okay, so if we go over the wall, we send a guy over the wall. This is a trap right here. If we just bash through the wall, then we're going to set off that trap. We have no way of building over the trap. Hmm. And if we go, there's no way to go from here because not everybody can climb. So we basically got to power straight through this. So we got to find a way, I think. Okay, yeah, well, we got to find a way, I think, to get around this. I think we're just barely going to get around it. Let's go ahead and bash from... Let's go ahead and bash from right here. I'm going to use my blocker at the end. Okay, I do need to send a second guy over, though. Okay, maybe that was too soon. Um, or maybe it wasn't. Okay, I need to... Okay, yeah, no, it won't be too soon. But I need to kind of... Okay, from like right there. Okay, yeah. So we want to like cup the... We want to like make the explosion so that it cups underneath the trap setting point. So this guy's going to go back over. Okay, yeah, so now we're going to dig and bash. And then he's going to blow up. Okay. That's not a very complicated level. Okay, yeah, so now, oh, we might be getting some breathers for the end of Flapdoodle then. All right, I'm always a fan of the breather level. Having to think during Lemmings is hard enough. Give me all the minor easy ones you can. Let's go ahead and blow him up, and then let's see if that kind of... Let's see if that, well, let's see if that qualifies it. That might not be... They might still walk up into that. That might still count as a death. Maybe I didn't get close enough. Maybe you got to get in really, like, super mega tight. Uh, we'll see, though. Uh, if we get scared to death by the sound. Oh, yeah, that was not correct. And that just results in ugliness. Hey, we saved at least one, though. That's why you use the buddy system. If one of you gets fried, at least one of you is safe. Go on, little buddies. Go on. It's not enough of you, but I feel better saving some of you than none of you. I think that's more or less close to it, though. Can't really see any other way around at the moment. I'd have to really look at it super hard, but that seems to be the way through. I just got to get in really close to that trigger so that they can, like, walk under it, like, through the bombing fallout. I think that's right. I'm going to see if I can make it slightly less complicated real quick. This might end up being kind of stupid, but I'm going to kind of roll with it for now. Uh, let's go ahead and have him... Why don't we just have him block, like, right here, and then blow him up. And then that gets you well enough under the thing that you can just bash. So now you have, like, bashing room. That's probably smarter. Yeah, I would say that's probably definitely the smarter way to deal with that. So now, just any old person can bash through, and we can definitely get underneath that thing. Oh, yeah, that's much easier than just using the little tunnel for a... Okay, yeah, that gives us some, that gives us some downward space, some downward digging. I knew if we dug deeper, we could find a simpler way. There's always a simpler way than you think. Very much perfect. All right. I like that a lot. Let's go. Yeah, let's get from the very lowest point we can get. Let's get underneath that trap. Nobody is going to get vaporized today. I can assure you that, hey, there a little pixel out there in the nether realm. How are you doing? Why are you there? Not quite a good enough bit of erasure, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, 
everybody can just walk through that thing now. Nothing more than a mere piece of background decoration at this point. Okay, so my solution was kind of, uh, kind of very pressure-oriented. Not very nice at all. That's a, that's a much cleaner portrait than the last one we took. I'm never going to that Sears guy to take care of my living portraits ever again. Oh, goodness. Let's move on. Let's graduate now. Let's move on. THX 1138. Also another repeat. What's different about this one? 60 lemmings, 98%, and 99 again. It's just like Patience, except with the marble tile set instead of the... <laughs> That's the simplest little change, and there's nothing technically that great about it. But, I don't know. There's something about it I just love. Okay, one blocker, obviously, for over here. Well, this should be really easy. Matter of fact, I could probably just do this the way I did it originally, for the most part. In fact, I may even be able to pull it off a little easier. Well, this is an anti-climax of a final level. More like flop doodle. Ugh, this, is, this may actually be as easy as it looks, just going off the... Just going off what I have to work with here. Let's go ahead and dig from right here. And my plan right now is to just when he gets to when he gets parallel even with these guys, build so he hits his head on this thing. And then they'll be able to walk very very sure of themselves onto this ledge right here and come back when he hits his head and bash. I shouldn't even have to use the miner. Maybe not even all of my builders. That's Well, that's super easy. That's not quite befitting of trickiness. Okay, go ahead and build now, and... Okay, we'll build till you hit your head. Yeah, I think it's pretty much that easy. That is super simple. I mean, I would have put that at, like, the beginning. This would have been one of the first levels that I repeated if I was going to repeat levels. If it's going to be this easy. What did I, what did I do or not do that I'm not seeing here? Was there something more complicated in mind? That was incredibly simple. Not quite befitting of a level 30, in my opinion, honestly. Yeah, that's really literally all there is to it. I guess I could... Well, I guess theoretically I could even have saved 100%. No, because if I mined underneath him, he would have walked off to the left, I think. So no, you would get 98% either way. But... Maybe it is possible to save 100%. Given that it's that simple, really? In the overall long run, I think it might actually be possible to do 100% on that level at some point. It's worth looking into. Maybe not by me, but by other people. That was an ultra simple level. Wow. That was... Yeah, okay. So, we do definitely have time to move on to Brouhaha. Let's tackle at least the first level of it. Bruhaha, third difficulty of five. I think Oh No More Levels is like... Yeah, I see a lot of demos in here. Old version, early unfinished version, early version, early version, early version. Probably like some levels that like... Maybe didn't make the final cut or something because they're too easy or too breakable. Kind of like the extra levels in Pima Limbs. But it's just kind of some good bonus content to have added on anyway. But let's not get to that just yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go to Bruhaha and Babylon Fading. Level 1. Oh, we start with the splats here. Oh, man. Oh, a difficulty rating that starts with splat height always throws me. So, I got to save 85%. How many floaters do we have? One release rate. That's always good when you're going for this kind of... Ooh. Well, this shouldn't be too tough to save everybody with. I can see why I only get 10 floaters. I gotta save 85% of how many? Let's restart. 80? That's what I thought. 80, 85% of 80. So that's between 60. So that's 68. I can only kill 12 lemmings. Well, that's kind of... With levels like this, it's always best to just kind of start, a, start it off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make him a floater at the bottom of his... Um, yeah, I'm going to have him... Okay, now what we want to do... I think it might be okay to let him splat. I think... 
Yeah, the first two I can let splat. The third one I want to go... Okay, what's going on here, then? Um, 15 builders, so I want to... Okay, I see, kind of. Okay, I kind of see it now. Okay, I'm going to be multitasking for sure. Okay, now I want to... Now I want to have as many guys as possible float down. Because we just got to save people while the... Okay, yeah. He's going to be building. No! I meant to make... Wait. Maybe I should have had him climb, though. Um... Well, yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh... Mm, wow, there is a lot going on in this level to start off. Okay, let's go ahead and make him do that. And then let's go ahead and have him start building. Okay, he's going to need to build as well. So now I can just concentrate on making floaters for now. Okay, yeah, the one release rate is definitely helping. Along with the big contingent of floaters. So I need to build to make him turn around and I hear him getting done. Okay, and you need to... Okay, yeah, I think this is a little... I think in terms of danger, this might be a little... Oh, yeah. I might be overrating this a little in terms of, like, the actual danger content. Okay, so some lemmings are going to die for sure. Okay, yeah, let's have him keep building for now. Okay, yeah, so he's going to keep on going. Some guys are going to keep going here. Okay, so there is a little bit of space underneath, I think. Yeah, this should be good then. Okay, Babylon is not going to fade today. Some some guys are going to fade, but others are not. And I should have plenty of builders to get the job done. Okay, really the only thing is... Uh, I do have some worries about right here. Maybe I should have him... I didn't think about this. That's probably going to be a bad height for them to fall from. Let's go ahead and have a blocker set up. And I also want to set up blockers on the very end here. Okay, that's a good blocker trap. Okay, he's going to get to the exit without them turning around. So I need to come from like right here with the mining to kind of mitigate the distance. And then I can have them build over. Wow, that was a very, like, easily solvable level, actually. All right, he makes it, and then they... I hope they make it. I hope that's a good... Okay, yeah, that's good for everybody. Okay. What's good for the geese... What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay, I think... I don't think I killed too many there. I think... Okay, we still have a ton of lemmings pouring out. 70. That's... We got 70 lemmings, and some have already made it. There's a blocker, there's a blocker, there's a blocker. Actually, this may be closer than we think. There's a lot of multitasking going on here for sure. Oh, I hope I pulled this off. The Oh, wow, the line is not giving me a lot of hope here. Did I let too many guys die in the initial go? No, we did it. 90%. 90%. Hey, that's even better. Let's go ahead and use blockers since we have them. Wow, that was kind of a scary level. For sure. Scary, but ultimately imminently doable. Maybe that's a theme that we're going to see going uh, going forward here in the brouhaha levels. I feel like we have time for one more even. Uh, give me one second to check that. And if we do, we'll move on. At the risk of making this a really long episode, I'm going to say we do have time to go on to one more, but that's kind of the thing. I like to keep these episodes inside a certain window of length so you're not sitting there all day watching them. I like to entertain you, but I don't like to take up all your time. But And there's a fine line to walk there sometimes when I move into territory that... <laughs> don't read this! Oh! I lost the game. Oh, man, I feel like, well, with eight lemmings, I feel like maybe we can do it. But, yeah, there's always a fine line to walk when you're trying to figure out how long to make something. But let's go ahead and maybe try to get this done here. Three minutes to save eight lemmings, and how am I going to go about this? Uh, we've got we've got digging, we've got 
Hmm. We got one climber. We've only got three builders, though. That's the thing. That's what... Oh, that's what makes this rough times in Chinatown for me. We got climbers and floaters. We may want to take advantage of them. How do we do that, though? Oh, we've got plenty of tools to work with, though, I think. Um, let's kind of... Let's just kind of roll with it for now. How, how do I roll with it, though? <laughs> I've got no blockers or bombers. Obviously, that would just be troll bait. Uh... I, it says don't read this, but I feel like, you know, I should be paying attention to this big hunk of land over here because I feel like it would somehow be beneficial to... You know what? I can make a little space to save everybody, I think. Um, 30 is the release rate, though. That release rate... Uh... Uh, 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 let's try it. Let's just kind of, let's just kind of go with it. I, I, I dig the awesome music for this. It is sufficiently epic, I will say. Okay, if I get a second guy building, okay, if I get a second walker building, I can maybe plug that up before anyone goes away. Let's go ahead and have this guy climb now. Okay. Uh, I ooh yuck. They're right next to each other though. Uh, well, I was trying to make this easy, but <laughs> I don't think that's going to so much be the case. Hmm, how do I, how do I make this easy for everybody? Uh, maybe the key would be to come from, maybe I need to send them. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, no, I think I found something a little better. I think I want to send them through here. I need a guy to go over the top, definitely. And then... Okay, I can send a few guys to do some things, I think. Okay, I think let's let's start working this out. Um... Uh... Hmm, I've got four floaters. Okay, I need a guy to become a floater at the bottom of his drop. Okay, so now... He needs to climb, and then some other guys need to be floating. Okay, they need to float. Um, okay. Okay, I'm going to make, I'm going to max out my floaters, because, oh wow, that was not a good idea, actually. See, what I was going to do was have him get up the wall before he could build to seal it up, but then guys get past that, so maybe that wasn't the smartest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, how do I save all eight lemmings? I have a feeling don't read this is bad advice. Uh, we'll figure this out in short order, though. It doesn't look like too terrible a level. Okay, I think I've spaced it out correctly so that I can win this one. First of all, we're going to make the third guy a floater, like right out of the hatch. Because two guys escaped through one bridge. Okay, so he's going to start building. And this guy is going to be a climber. He's also going to be a floater. Fifth guy out of the hatch is also going to be a climber. We're not going to make this guy a floater until he gets to the very bottom of his drop to maximize things. All right, and that's going to give this guy a lot of space once he turns around. Now we've got a lot of watching to do. Okay, so this guy is going to go... He's going to float down. He's going to go to the exit right now. Now we're going to have him build. Okay, and he's also going to build. He's going to build this little gap right here. Okay, now I need to be watching carefully. He's going to dig. I need to make sure... Okay, I don't... I think he's got a perfect thing of wall dug out here. Okay, so now there's plenty of space between these guys, and I think we've got a safe zone here. That was just barely, that just barely worked, but I think it will work overall in the long scheme, in the long, okay, so now let's go ahead and let's bash, and he should have enough space to be able to bash and dig, and now they, sh nobody should escape his hole there. All right, we're past the pool. Everybody is safe now. So now all we have to worry about is the miner. Okay, so 
We have a surplus of one floater. All right. He's digging just fine, and he should be able to mine everybody out without too much trouble. Definitely a tough multitasking level. But not too hard to figure out, really, in the whole scheme of things. You just got to figure out how to give everybody enough space to work. I think, okay, yeah, let's not get too carried away with the digging here. Let's actually be able to mine our guys to safety. Why don't you not hit the wall so it doesn't take you like a whole minute and a half to walk back? I think we'll still have enough time, all told, but a minute 37 is a bit of a long walk, given how... That's a longer walk than you think it is. Maybe if it was just from here to here, I wouldn't be so scared, but... And I'm not really even scared now. I think we've got enough time to sort this out. There it goes. We got four in, four out. Here comes five. Oh, yeah. It does not take a minute 15 to walk from don't read this to please exit here. All right. I always like ending on a hell level for some reason because, you know, making that final leap to heaven, it just there's something symbolic about it when you end on a hell level. And it, it always is more satisfying than your average beaten level. That one was a lot of fun to figure out, to sort through. It's just all about, I hope there are more levels like this, actually. The ones where everybody is moving. It's like Leap of Faith from the previous episode. Everyone is moving at the same time. And you just got to figure out, you know, how to keep things moving. Everything is going to keep on moving, whether you want it to or not. And you just have to figure out how to stretch out that space like silly putty. You got to stretch that silly putty without breaking it. That was a brilliant level. I am looking very much forward to the brouhaha rating. That's going to be a lot of fun to puzzle some of those out, tease some of those levels out. Well, that's it for today. Four levels is pretty good for a day of semi-moderate difficult lemmings. I will see you guys next time for level three of more now 100% more blind lemmings action.